Figure it out. Hello, this is Adam Corley with Figure It Out Productions. The following video is part of our Quick Shoot series and is intended to aid the Dreamcast and gaming community. Alright, so assuming you saw part one of restoring this Dreamcast, uh, this Dreamcast has already been cleaned up, so we are going to try and tweak the laser. Today I'm going to show you how to alter the GD-ROM to make it work better, presumably, because this Dreamcast is totally dead. So, uh, what you're going to need to do first is open it up. Now, you will just need a standard Phillips screwdriver to do this. Uh, I've mentioned this before. Sega didn't use game bits like Nintendo did. Um, and then what you're going to do is you're going to have to go to the bottom, and you're going to have to remove the uh, modem here on the side, which comes off like that. And then you'll see there's four screw ports. One there, one there, one there, and one there. So I want you to go ahead and uh, do that, and then once you've done that, take the lid off and put it right behind the system. Okay, so again, the lid is back there. Now what we're going to do is we have to get the laser right here pushed all the way to the back. And I mean all the way. So there's these little holes there, and it's perfect for like a Phillips screwdriver. And you just, or non-Phillips, a flathead, sorry. And you just kind of push it back like that. It, it sounds like it's hurting it, but I swear it's not. Um, you got to get all the way to the back. Then over here, you'll see there's a couple of wires uh, right there, and then there's these plastic, uh, black plastic clips there. You have to get those out from under there and put them on top. I'm not going to do that on camera, but be very, very careful when you do that. You do not want to tear these things. Okay, so I went ahead and I did that. I just kind of, which the easiest way is to kind of start with this one. You just lift up the black, black plastic tab thing a little bit and just kind of wedge this out. And the same goes for the other side, but I would do this one second. Then just kind of lift it over, and you'll, you'll need that extra slack along with this, because here's what you're going to do. You're going to pull this up. There's no screws in there holding this together. And you just kind of pull it up over like that. And that's why we have this here to hold that. Okay, I had to go handheld for this because it's so small. I apologize. And this camera can't focus worth a damn, so I'm really, really sorry. I'll try to keep it about here. So right here, you see the ribbon, and then right there, you see that red little part right there? There's a little tiny silver pentometer right there. At least this one is silver. Um, right, it's mostly circular, but the top is flat. And the flat part is probably, unless your Dreamcast has already been modified, is facing up. So what you're going to want to do is turn that like one-tenth of a rotation. Um, most guides recommend turning it left, you know, counterclockwise, about a tenth of a rotation. Uh, I've heard people say that going the clockwise a tenth of a rotation is better. Um, I'm going to go with what most guides say and try that. And if it doesn't work, then I'll do the other one. And I'll let you know. I got it to turn to the left a couple of times, and that didn't do anything. So now I'm going to try doing it to the right. I've already gone ahead and done it. Um, I'm going to tell you that uh, it's surprising. That little pentometer requires a really big screwdriver to move. I tried all these like little ones. And when you stick it in, it just it doesn't do anything. It just can't turn. So I actually needed the same giant screwdriver to uh, change that little pentometer as I did to remove the screws from the system. So I guess kind of be aware of that. But then again, that should be convenient because you obviously used this the first time. Um, so, okay, we're going to go ahead and try it now that I've uh, moved it a fifth of a rotation to the right. I did try it. A, uh, a tenth of a rotation to the right, and that didn't work. Now, in order to do this, there's a little black... Uh, plastic tab thing right behind those wires I had you kind of loosen. You have to hold back on that if you don't have the lid on. And since I'm just testing this thing, I'm going to do that rather than bother with the lid. So turn on the power button right there. Disc spins. Okay. And the TV. And I'll tilt up. You can see it's spinning. You can see my arm. Okay, that's a really good sign. It's reading that. And okay, guys, check that out. Now loading. I popped in Shenmue. I mean, what else would I do? How awesome is that? No memory card. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's really awesome. Point is, I got the thing to work. Uh, great. Uh, yeah, Shenmue. What else would I pick? I mean, come on. Best game friggin' ever. So... Uh, final thoughts on this, since I got this to work, my cousin will be very happy. Um, but uh, I, I have to, now that it's done, I'm going to have to put this wire back under there, make sure you do that. The fact that I had to do this 
means that th this Dreamcast is dying. It, it's kind of on its last legs. Uh, that tweaking of the laser is basically going to... I think it just increases the voltage so that it can work. But really, if my cousin uses this regularly, it's going to last him six months, a year maybe. Um, but that's better than it not working at all. So that's good news for him. He'll have to buy a new one eventually. But guys, this is just a temporary fix. If you have a Dreamcast that's not working... You can try this, it'll last a little bit longer, but you're going to have to get a new one, or get a new laser assembly. Or, if you're really, really good, uh, you'd have to replace the actual laser with like a PC laser. Um, I've never done that, that's way beyond my skill set. But uh, there you go, I hope this helped you guys kind of uh, learn how to kind of bring back one of these back from the dead if you have one. Thanks for watching this video, please subscribe if you so desire. However, we'd really appreciate it if you check out our other videos that are of a higher production caliber. Thank you.